2024 Topps Chrome comes out in just a few short months, and many collectors, including myself, are very concerned with the future of this set. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about all of the concerns I have, as well as you should have, for this set that comes out in less than 60 days. So what's going on, guys? It's Gripper Rip. And before we get into it, let's talk, uh, let's talk about the giveaway real quick. So at 9,000 subscribers, we're giving away hobby packs of the newest product. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the video or on the channel. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless others on who you think your all-star representative is going to be on your favorite team at the all-star break. And I'll pick the winner once we hit 9,000 subscribers. So there is that. Shouldn't be too long from now. We've grown a lot. And speaking of the month of May, I just want to take a, a quick second here to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. This month, believe it or not, was the second biggest month. View-wise, likes, comments, money, everything. The second biggest month ever on my channel. So this this is all because of you guys. I mean, I wouldn't be here doing this if it wasn't for you guys who wants to hear someone like me talk cards for 20 minutes a day. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Sincerely. Um, never thought this would be a job. Never thought this would be a job. But here we are two and a half years later after my debut. And it is now confidently, I could tell you, a job that I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future on YouTube. So thank you guys. Hopefully June is just as good. Um, June, a lot of good stuff coming out in June. Series 2, um, Donruss Baseball, and USA Stars and Stripes. And maybe a couple more things that we don't know yet. So stay tuned for that. So let's get into it now. So we're not going to be talking about anything that's going to happen in June for this video. We're going to be talking about something that's going to happen in July. Although I do want to say pre-orders for 2024 Topps Chrome from my little birdie on the inside um, told me they should be going live in the next three weeks. So take that with a grain of salt. Tomorrow is the start of June. So um, last year, pre-orders for Chrome went up, I believe, around, I would say, the 20th of June, somewhere in that area. So we're about, I would say, three, three and a half weeks at the latest off of this set. So stay tuned. Of course, we'll have all the information regarding that, hopefully very soon. Because huh, unlike Series 2, hopefully Topps gives us some information regarding this product a long time in advance. Which still Topps, 12 days away, 12 days away Topps, no checklist and no odds, still for 2024 top series two what are they hiding what are they hiding 12 days series one's checklist and odds went up two months before the release pitiful but we're not here to talk about that today i can make a whole 30 minute video on that ridiculous we're talking about chrome we're talking 2024 tops chrome aka my most anticipated for now, we'll talk about that, why I say for now. For now, my most anticipated set of 2024. So I'm concerned. I am genuinely concerned as a collector and a content creator for the future of this set. Because if the news as of late has told us anything, it is to expect the unexpected. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's start out, for example, retail. There's a lot of different factors we're going to try to hit on in this video, and I'm going to start with retail. As you guys are well aware, we are seeing huge changes throughout the board in the retail sports card scene right now. You know, Walmart changing vendors to SAS Retail, which apparently I'm reading up on, which apparently they stock and vend a lot of other places in Walmart as well, like other sections in Walmart. So it looks like they have a long-standing relationship with Walmart, which is a good thing because you know why? They're probably really consistent with the other stocking that they do, which Walmart definitely wants to see more consistency 
as I stated in yesterday's video. So go check that one out after this one if you haven't heard that one yet, right? So I am very concerned because truthfully and honestly, I don't think we're going to see a lot of Chrome at retail. I think, and I'm going to make a video on this in the future because I could make a whole video on this topic alone as well. I think the era of buying like blaster boxes and retail stuff in retail stores is coming to an end with how big of a hassle it is in some areas. Some people line up by the dozens at some stores waiting for vendors. Some people fight legitimately over some products like Optic Football that just came out. Would they fight over 2024 Topps Chrome? To be determined. Don't know. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. But either way, I think the era of online slash hobby stores is starting to happen. Because I've documented this well over my time on YouTube. Over the years, Walmart and Target, for that matter, have really shrunk down their sports card aisles. I mean, Target, I mean, Target, my targets at least, it was a whole freaking wall. Now it's like a quarter of that wall. And now there's like batteries and gift cards in that space. Same thing with Walmart. Walmart used to have at least a 20-foot sports card section. Now it's a little maybe seven-foot section with, and then they put candy and stuff like novelty items in replace of that shelf space. So... Little by little over a year, you have seen, if you pay attention really closely, you have seen sports cards aisles are starting to shrink little by little. And I do think that is because of the hassle these stores have to put up with. And these big corporate stores are saying, you know what, why do we have to put up with this in store? Let's just throw all of the inventory online and have them do limits and things like that. Although limits, limits didn't work. I, I understand the idea of limits, limiting people to how many boxes you could buy. But that created a whole different scenario, which I do not want to get back to. Because that was terrible, by the way. The limits thing was terrible. People abused the system. People had their friends of friends of friends show up. People had their um, sons and daughters who didn't know a damn thing about sports cards show up to get boxes. It was, it was ridiculous, right? It was ridiculous. It whatever, right? But um, for Topps Chrome in particular, you know, with Bowman and Platinum Chrome, I'll tell you one thing. I have seen literally no Platinum Chrome. I have been searching up and down Walmart and Target. I have not seen Platinum Chrome anywhere, and I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't buy it. Because man, oh man, I have documented this as well. That box looks juiced to kingdom come on Platinum Chrome. I have seen parallels and autographs galore. Literally one in every two boxes roughly has an autograph. I kid you not per blaster box, which is insane. I really, really, really would like to get a hold of some of them to maybe try to pull something decent. Uh, maybe I'm just going to have to do it online. Maybe I'm just going to have to buy them online and just there you go. But um, what do Bowman, Platinum Chrome and Chrome all going to have in common? What are they all going to have in common? The fact that you can't find them in retail stores. For example, my Walmart got five Bowman Blasters, and that, those are the only five Bowman Blasters my Walmart got. To this day, Bowman has been out for what? Three weeks now, give or take? And guess what? They have not showed up at all ever since. Five Blaster Boxes. Platinum Chrome in my area, zero. And I looked at the tags, zero. Chrome, hopefully this does not happen. Because Chrome, I'm telling you right now, people, if you're not at a restock, if you're not at a restock for Chrome, you're not going to find it. Why? Simple. MVP buyback promotion. Not officially announced yet, but it's coming. And when they announce that, because... I don't know if you know this, but retail is the best way to get the buyback cards. The easiest and most efficient way to get them. It could be hard to find. People are going to buy those boxes up like no tomorrow. 
and try to get the buybacks. And do you know what they're going to use those buybacks on? Do you know what they're going to use those buybacks on? Well, I'll tell you. It's a set called 2024 Tops Chrome Update. And that is the second part of this video I want to talk about. The potential checklist. You see, the checklist, in my eyes, will be okay. Like I said, to me, what's going to drive sales of that? Not only the rookie checklist, which we'll talk about here in a minute, but the MVP buybacks. The MVP buybacks are going to drive sales of retail monster boxes and blaster boxes huge. They're going to drive up sales huge to the point where you're not going to see them at all if you're not at restocks. So speaking of pre-orders that happen in three weeks, if blasters go up for pre-sale, which I don't know if they will or not, I think they might have last year. If they do, be prepared if you want them, just so that you could say you have them and rather trying to find them in your area because it might be a struggle. It truly might be a struggle to find them at retail if you are not there within the first hour of the restock because people are going to buy them up and you're not going to find them. Your card store might sell them for $50 a blaster box. I wouldn't take that chance. Honestly, I would really buy hobby, but you know, buybacks, I understand people go crazy over the buyback promotion, myself included. Retail is by far the best way to do that, right? And the last thing for this video I do want to highlight is the potential checklist, right? So let's address the elephant in the room first, right? Do I believe Paul Skeens and Jackson Holiday will be short prints in this set? I'm going to go on a whim and say no. But, but, don't leave it up to tops to do something absolutely ridiculous that people are not going to like. We all remember what happened in 2022, which by the way, funny, funny enough, I was just reminded the other day that 2024 or 2022 Tops Chrome didn't come out until September of 2022, by the way. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, just in case you guys forgot that, uh, I literally just got reminded of that today. So pretty crazy times. Pretty crazy times indeed with what happened there. But um, either way, I would not put it past Tops at all. And I mean this truthfully. I would not put it past them to put Skeens and Holiday in there as short prints. Because not only are they going to have the buybacks, they're going to have a huge chase for the number one and number two overall prospects in baseball. And if that happens... Me, personally, as a Pirates fan, and if you're an Orioles fan, I would be pissed. I would be super pissed. Because that is going to be their first official mass-produced rookie card. And no, I do not count the Tops Nows. I don't count the Tops Nows. Although, I did get my Tops Nows, by the way. I do actually have my Paul Skeen's Tops Nows. I got the base cards, unfortunately, by the way, but... It is what it is. I mean, I got them both. I got the first one they made, and then the second one where he struck out like 11 and had like no hits at Wrigley Field his second start. So I got both of them. It's pretty cool. Um, but the checklist, base checklist, should be pretty good. I mean, you're going to have Shota Iminaga, Yamamoto. You're going to have all the Series 1 guys. You're going to have, you know, Jordan Lawler, Pete Crow Armstrong. I don't know who would care about him. His stock really fell off dramatically, but I'm sure Cubs fans would still want to collect them. Uh, Marco Luciano, he's injured out for the year. You're going to have Henry Davis, Ellie De La Cruz, you know, you're going to have the whole shebang there. Nick Gonzalez, by the way, <laughs> speaking of which, if you didn't put your Series 1 Nick Gonzalez um, autographs, relics, parallels to the side, I would suggest you go find them. He has been red hot since he got called up from the Pittsburgh Pirates this year. Look at his stats. Thank me later. Um, but to wrap this video up, because I do want to get out of here relatively soon, because honestly, really tired today. But um, Chrome, you know, Chrome should be good. And I'm very, very excited to open Chrome. I have concerns, which I talked about in this video. I have a lot of concerns. But at the end of the day, I do think we're going to be in for a great set. Now, speaking of which, the last thing I also want to say I completely forgot about I don't think, by the way, Langford, Chirio, and Merrill are going to be in Series 2 and Chrome. So, 
For all you fans out there, and Jared Jones, as a matter of fact, for my Pirates, um, those are the top four rookies. Um, and Shota, I guess. Yamamoto, I mean, he's all right. But again, pitchers, it's hard to really like value pitcher cards and sets. I hate having to put a pitcher at number one, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Shota Iminaga is by far, without those other guys, number one. I mean, he's probably still number one regardless, but... I just hate having to put pitchers in number one. Um, same thing with Paul Skeens. As much as a Pirates fan I am, I hate having to put a pitcher at number one for update, but it's probably going to happen. It's probably going to happen because he's just so freaking good. And same with Shota. They're both really freaking good. Um, so it is what it is. But either way, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video talking about 2024 Topps Chrome. So before we get into a pack here, and I do have to actually open up a new box. So we were on box, what is this? I would believe number seven. So this is box number seven, and this is the last box I got from the card store. As you see here, the price tag still on it and everything. So as I open this box, let me tell you about today's sponsor of this video in the channel, SeatGeek. So SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball, and they are the sponsor of today's video and this channel. And we have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who have never purchased off of SeatGeek before. So if you've never purchased from them before, click the link down below, download the app, use my promo code Grip and Rip. That is all one word, Grip and Rip, all one word, to save twenty dollars to zero off of your first SeatGeek purchase. It could be used for baseball tickets, hockey playoffs, basketball playoffs. Football, football tickets are on sale, college football, concerts, festivals, you name it. If there's a ticket, it will work. So huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this channel. And now let's get into pack of Chrome. Or not, well, not Chrome, uh, Bowman. So let's see here, man. Time is running out to pull something good, man. Time is running out. And hopefully we pull an autograph relatively soon it looks like it's not going to be this pack so let's see here eddie rodriguez that's a good one uh, mason win he's going to be in series two that's a good one to keep an eye out for for series two um cory seager luis matos another good one um zach geloff another good one we got a ronnie mauricio unfortunately like i just stated earlier out for the rest of the year so he's not going to be rookie of the year favorite this year but you never know maybe next year aiden miller that's a good one wish it'd be chrome but that's a good one um Cappy Ortiz, we got Xavier Isaac, Colin Helk, and Trey Morgan, who I actually pulled an autograph. Speaking of Stars and Stripes, I pulled his autograph last year out of Stars and Stripes. First round pick, I believe. Yeah, 80, no, 88th overall. So it would be, I believe that's second round. I could be wrong. Maybe third round. But either way, um, Trey Morgan is a very good player. Played for LSU. Watched a lot of LSU baseball last year. Of course, for Skeens and Dylan Cruz. Because we were getting one of them. We just didn't know which one. But uh, So I know my LSU guys when I see him. Um, Tommy White draft this year. Don't know where he's going. But whoever gets Tommy White in the draft, I'm telling you right now. When we do 2024 Bowman draft top 10, bet your ass Tommy White's going to be on that list. He is a beast for LSU. So guys, either way, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about 2024 Topps Chrome. Are you excited? I assume a lot of you are, including myself. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.